Hello, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Um, today we are going to be doing some really basic addition and subtraction, and I know you already know how to add and subtract, but what I want you to really focus on is the modeling that we're going to be doing, specifically using a number line. Now, modeling not only sometimes makes the problem easier, but it also is a way to show better understanding of the topic. And we're going to be using a lot of modeling this year, so I want you to get used to uh, showing your work on a number line. I'm also going to use some counters to help explain the problem as well. The first problem, it says evaluate 6 plus 8. You could also say simplify 6 plus 8. Those two terms are used pretty interchangeably in math. So we know our problem is 6 plus 8, and I know you know the answer is 14, but once again, I want you to focus on understanding the modeling. So first I want to show using a number line. So I'm going to get myself a number line. Here I have my number line. Notice that my number line starts at 4. You don't need your number lines to start at 0. Your number lines don't always have to have negatives. You need your number line to fit what you need it to fit for. And since my problem is starting with 6, I really didn't even need to start until 6. So I'm going to start on my number line at the 6 because my problem starts at 6. And now I need to jump 8 spaces to the positive direction because what I'm adding is 8 positives. So I need to go 8 spaces to the right or towards the positive direction. And I can go 2 by 2. What you want to be careful of is that my intervals are values of 2. So I only need to go 8 values, not 8 intervals. So 8 to the right is going to bring me to 14 and therefore 6 plus 8 is 14. I can check to make sure that I moved 8 spaces 2, 4, 6, 8. Another way we could show the same problem is with markers. This is what I mean by a marker. So for this problem, I would need to start off with six markers. Here are my six positive markers. I'm going to add to that eight more positive markers. So I've added my eight more positive markers, and as you can see, I have a total of 14 positive markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen positive markers. We have another example, 7 minus 2. It's important to remember that when we're saying 7 minus 2, we're saying 7 minus positive 2. So we have our number line, and again, we're going to start at the 7. From here, we need to go 2 away from the positive direction. Remember, um, towards the right, we always say it's positive. So we need to go 2 away from the positive direction, so we are taking away 2. So instead of going towards the positive, we're going away from the positive. So we're going to go left. We go to the left 2. We end up at 5. So 7 minus 2 is 5. Now I'm also going to show this with counters again. So showing the markers, here I have my 7 markers. And I want to take 2 of those positive markers away because I'm subtracting 2. I'm just going to show that by crossing them out. And as you can see, I have 5 positive markers left. Nothing to do with anything. I just like to show off my daughter. This is Madison for those of you who haven't met her yet.